Here we are. Finally. Mm -hmm. Boy, you are a very busy man, Ahmed. Very busy. Very busy, yeah. <laughs> I am busy. So Happy. this is uh terrible. It's uh it would seem to be you know unbelievable that this genocide has continued uh, for so long. And with uh, the acquiescence, you know, the passivity of the Arab regimes and uh, even the reticence of the Islamic you know, revolutionary, you know, government of uh, Iran is uh, beginning to look rather pathetic. Well, uh, I, I'm not holding too much breath uh, on the Arab reactionary regimes. They are reactionary regimes. Actually, I just wrote an article in Arabic about why and how those regimes becoming uh, Zionist and American puppets. And I never held my breath. I never, I never thought that these regimes will ever do anything. Actually, on the contrary, they are uh, aiding and abetting the Zionist regime in, it, in its war of genocide against the Palestinians in Gaza and the West Bank. Not much, uh, as much in Gaza, but still in the West Bank, there's a, a genocide is going on, but in a in a in a lower, uh, you know, velocity. Uh, having said that, the Iranians they are actually I would say the Iranians they're doing their best to to support by uh, you know helping and supporting and supplying Hezbollah and Ansarullah in Yemen with uh, information, data, intelligence on uh, the ground mm -hmm. uh, and on those ships going back and forth on the Arab uh, Sea <clears throat> and the Red Sea uh, through the Bab al-Mandib uh, Seaway. So that's that's much appreciated. Uh, the, the Iraqi resistance, they're kind of uh, sluggish in their uh, support. You know, sometimes uh, they say we want to fight the Americans because the Americans, they are supporting the Zionist uh, genocide. They're par partaking. I mean, the Americans are partaking of the genocide. But uh, just after they uh, liquidated three uh, American uh, occupation soldiers in Jordan and injured 40s, I think they got scared. That's what it is. <laughs> they said we were, we're suspending our operations until mm -hmm. further notice. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we have to realize that uh, Islamic groups, uh, they are not homogeneous. They are different uh, background, uh, different, uh, you know, view of of how the, country, the conflict is. But we have to realize they are also, when it comes to ideology, uh, they are right-wing uh, bourgeoisie parties. They are not uh, revolutionary as we believe in in, in the progressive uh, things of, of the matter. So um, I, I also am critical of their susp suspension of such uh, operations because the war in Gaza has not stopped one met. So I am disappointed. I hope they will rethink their, uh, you know, their withdrawal from the field against mm -hmm. the American occupation of Syria, Iraq, and uh, Jordan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I read that they withdrew all their officers from Iraq. You know, like really. You know, like you mean because, you uh, mean they... Syria? You mean the Iranians? Oh, yes, that's right. Syria. From Syria. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think probably this is a preemptive uh, move because the Americans are planning to have a major attack, I mean, uh, air attack on Syria and Iraq. So probably just a preemptive uh, move, <clears throat> not uh, to with being scared. But who knows? I think the Iranians are, are, are committed to fight the Zionists uh, via supporting the, the, the Arab... Uh, resistance groups because the Iranians they didn't have to fight our fight we are fighting our own fight yes. it's an Arab it's an Arab people's fight it's not Iranian fight yeah, Iran I, was, I, mm, I reconsider it you know what I was thinking you know before because Iran really doesn't have you know like a big navy it has like a local naval defense uh, coast guard type of uh, equipment with small boats 
but I don't think they have any, you know, big Navy. The only big navies that could intervene there in the Red Sea to stop the uh, U.S. and U.K. navies, you know, U.K. doesn't have any navy, but the U.S. Yeah. navy, that would have to be either China or Russia. Oh, China and Russia are are, are being Machiavellians in, in this uh, conflict. Um, they're just being opportunistics. They want the Americans to be involved in the war, to, you know, a, 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 a war of attrition, but they don't want to lift a finger. Mm-hmm. In, in, because that means creating a, a third world war to fight. Yeah. Uh, but they can do other things. Like, for example, uh, they could announce uh, they will uh, fund uh, the honor war that's been uh, cut by the Western powers, Canada involved. Canada being part of it, uh, United States, uh, all the Western imper- imperial uh, powers, they could do that. They haven't done that. That's that's sickening. Yeah, you know. You know yeah, so because uh, UNRWA funding yeah. is not only the you know the refugees in Gaza; it's also the refugees everywhere. Yeah, it, it brings back to. I mean, it, it's it's a see through uh, cynical attempt. To undermine Anirwa. I mean, let, let's assume, let's assume, okay, for a minute, that those seven or twelve uh, Palestinians uh, were involved in October seven uh, concentration camp breakout. Okay, let's assume yeah. mm-hmm. uh, that means that the entire that these people talk to their superiors and the superiors tell them, "Oh yeah, go fight uh, October seven. Come mm-hmm. on." I mean, it's it's very cynical, very stupid, very very uh, disgusting uh, spin of such an uh, Israeli, uh, you know, accusation. I mean, uh, you could be a, a member of the Canadian government, for example, and you go commit uh, an atrocity downtown Toronto. Is that uh, the government of Canada is, is a complicit and is part of this uh, <laughs> genocide mm-hmm. or a, a massacre? Come on, this is bullshit. And mm-hmm. it's just they named names. And all these people, all these names, they were just uh, 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 just janitors, uh, you know, uh, uh, I'm going to call it... Uh, Bill Boys, you know, just something who are like inter-level. Mm-hmm. Uh, of working on it. I know it has about over 30,000 uh, That's it. I wanted employees. to mention, you know, this is 12 out of 30,000, yeah, I mean, you know, employees. Yeah. And, and furthermore, you know, the, the accusations, the evidence hasn't been provided yet. So maybe absolutely. they provided, you know, some minimal sort of, no, you know, no, no, aid, you know, to a relative, you know, <laughs> who was a Hamas fighter. That's about it. You know, that's about it. I don't want to, I, I don't want to go even to that point of, say, there's evidence or no evidence. I said, let's assume there they were Hamas fighters, okay? They were. Let's say if they were. Hmm. So what that has to do with the Anirwa? What has to do with with the the work it provides relief and help to uh, over 7 million Palestinians who are spread in Gaza, West Bank, hmm. Lebanon, Syria, and Jordan? Come hmm. on. It's obvious. It's, you could see it through. It's just uh, uh, the Zionist state has been for years trying to dis- dissolve the Anirwa, because this is one of the main witnesses of the Palestinian um, ethnic, uh, the Zionist ethnic cleansing of 1948. Mm. So this is uh, by dissolving it, trying to uh, discredit the issue of Palestinian refugee, refugee uh, issue, Status, which is the main yes. issue. Yes. And remove the evidence of the Nakba, nineteen forty-seven to forty-nine, absolutely. as well. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Mm-hmm. That's what they they've been doing this for the past at least thirty years. Okay, at least mm-hmm. minimum. And who started the whole thing? It's Netanyahu and his Likud party. And mm-hmm. even they have they have a Zionist uh, organization called UN Watch. Okay. Huh. <laughs> and they just it's very silly it's it's very stupid very superficial very simplistic approach to things it's like it's a child game that's what they're playing mm-hmm. and we have uh, p- countries like canada are playing uh, this ch- children game it's mm-hmm. see through it's you mm-hmm. can see through 
you know. But they're, and they're giving full reign to the fascists, you know, amongst the Israelis. You know, there's now Absolutely. a thousand Israelis at the uh, Carmel Sharem uh, crossing who are stopping mm. the aid from going into Gaza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. For the I sixth know. day I... now. Yeah, I know. I need. They're allowed even to do the... it, you know. Like, who's allowing them to do this? You know, like, what's it's the Israeli like, army? Why don't they just <laughs> bomb them? You know, like if you know no, they're no, bombing no. everybody, you know, why not them? No, too? no, 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 no. Actually, members of the Likud party, members of the government, there were two ministers. I can't remember their names. They were today and yesterday part of this blockade. Oh yeah, it's obvious. It's it's very clear. It's it's uh, uh, to go around what so called uh, what the ICJ asked them to provide humanitarian. So there's all we. Oh, have that was the Security we're... Council. That was Security Council that demanded that the aid be allowed in. Yeah, and and what they say? Oh, we are a democratic country. We this is a, they have the right of uh, you know it's <laughs> it's garbage. It's absolute garbage. They they just playing that game. Yeah. You know, they, they are so sick in their mind. They think that when they play these games, the world will listen to them because the, the Zionists and the Zionists, the Zionist colonists inside Palestine believe them. So they think that the world will think will think the same. They believe mm. them. Yeah. And the, the world is calling them out on yeah. every and each uh, atrocity they've been committing against the Palestinian people. From since 1947, actually since August 1947, where the war of cleansing started. This is not mm -hmm. 1948. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, <clears throat> the Israelis are so brainwashed, and even Absolutely. the liberals, you know, even the liberal Zionists, you know, who come up to me, you know, and uh, question why I should be demonstrating <laughs> against genocide. The liberal Zionists, they call themselves that, you know. They uh, accept all the atrocity stories and the need to uh, eradicate uh, basically the Palestinians, you know, like by expulsion or by death. And uh, it's mm -hmm. it's incredible, you know, and they will not listen <clears throat> to demonstrations. No, I mean, the United States even is not listening to demonstrations. Even Canada is not listening to demonstrations and protests. No, no. So, no. you know, uh, there's uh, only I, one way. There's only two ways in which they will listen. Force. And by the internal revolution of the Jewish people against the Zionist, you know, dictatorship. And that's what Absolutely. I'm trying to do. I agree that's with you. That's a long I'm... shot. That's a very yeah. long shot. Okay. I know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I believe I believe that there's no hope uh, in the Zionists, especially who lives in Palestine. The colonists, the, the strange colonists, the strangers who came from all over the world mm. to colonize my country. These people are fed since they were little, okay? The lies, the Zionist narratives, which is, uh, it's it's a, house of, it's a house of lies, like a house of cards, okay? Mm -hmm. Like this, it's false. But yeah. uh, I believe the Zionists is not just only brainwashed, okay? They're becoming part of a cult. It's a murderous, uh, genocidal cult that they really believe they are victims and the whole world is out there to get them because they are Jews and the world is anti-Semitic. Even, even uh, the ICJ members, okay, they were, uh, <laughs> they are uh, anti-Semitic. They are out there to get the Jews. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you know that's, that's uh, mm -hmm. the Zionist garbage they, to, to camouflage their genocide and their criminality. So, uh, yes, I believe that uh, the Jewish people uh, around the world, in Canada, United States, Britain, everywhere else, there's hope in them because, yes, they are brainwashed in general, but uh, because they are living in, a, in a, an open society, uh, they can see and listen and read uh, from different sites. While the Palis in Palestine, they are fed daily, like uh, food spent, uh, fo uh, uh, spoon fed, mm. Zionist uh, propaganda by their uh, media, by their politicians, by their printed media, by even being among each other. They're feeding each other the same uh, garbage, uh, yeah. which is uh, sad, but uh, 
Yeah, I, I believe the the quick fix is by forcing the Zionists to stop by by force. Okay, mm. and uh, or and of course on the medium to long run by uh, the the free world uh, Jews uh, like you and others uh, around the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I addressed this, you know, in the um, appeal that I wrote, because I, yeah. I sensed that there was a need, you know, for sort of a breakthrough, you know, like. So that you know, Palestinians can get a hearing amongst the Jewish people. They've never had a hearing before, and it's all censored. Yep. Yes, so, of course. So you know, I address this you know uh, trauma that they're sort of exhibiting now. You know, this hysterical trauma that is being fed by the horror stories. You know, of the military, mm -hmm. which have not been proven. Now, I've gone to the second uh, website. The first website, you know, of Zionist propaganda, I exposed already in one video uh, mm -hmm. of a here and now, showing that they didn't have any videos to show. You know, like. Uh, to correspond to the accusations that they had on the front page of their website, you know, and they're supposed to link, you know, to the videos and there's no videos. And that's, you know, the uh, website called hamasmassacre.com. Okay. <laughs> so, there's no massacre. Okay. So and then, you know, the, uh, the, young, you know, the young guy, you know, the young liberal Zionist, you know, whose father's a rabbi who directed me to that website, you know, he came back, you know, this past Sunday and he told me, no, no, it's not that website, you know, that has the videos. It's the website. <laughs> It's the website Hamas.com. Okay. So I said, yes, I heard about that, you know, in the gray zone, you know, but that they didn't, you know, they were afraid to go into there because they were, you know, worried about, you know, spyware being installed on the computer. So I went on to that website with another computer, you know, just to be sure. And I looked at all this, you know, videos that they say corresponds to the title, you know, of, you know, like 40 burnt babies, you know, that sort of thing. And yeah, there's no yeah. videos, you know, like there's only one video no. that shows a woman, you know, with not, not much clothes on you, but she has her panties on, you know, and, 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 you know, and, and that's it, you know, you know, and then all the rest of it is, you know, like Hamas fighters, you know, with their body cams, you know, showing how they're fighting, you know, with some sort of, you know, soldiers, you know, one soldier yeah. who got, you know, like massacred, you know, but he was a soldier. <laughs> So, you know, like he got it, less it, than what was being done, you know, to the Palestinians. Yeah, so he, the, nothing to complain it, about. It's, there. All, it's so see through. Only a cult member will not see that. Only a cult uh, person, part yeah. of the cult, because he will, he will, she will put a shield around their brains. Only think within the cult uh, narratives. But anything comes out from the outside, especially the so called enemy. It's totally discredited, even if it's the truth, even if it's a hard fact. Like yeah. today, I was reading through the X, uh, you know, uh, application or the Twitter, showing a woman, okay, uh, she is very pretty looking young lady, and she was a survivor of October 7th. And she talks about uh how hamas took her and uh, mistreated her and took oh, her yes. uh, her jacket off and took her id but she never said she was raped <laughs> although she is very good looking woman you know young looking young uh, so uh, uh i don't know where is the where is the rape not even one single zionist woman came forward and said i was raped Mm. by Hamas not even mm. one single one yeah. I think I think Hamas uh, left so much uh, uh, impression on those young ladies whether they've been uh, captured or they've been uh, you know uh, not taken as prisoners so much positive that they will not allow themselves to come out and say we were raped so um, it's very obvious uh, that uh, in 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 a, in a prior uh, genocides, whether mm -hmm. it's the Rohingya or in, in Bosnia and Herzegovina, etc., the first testimonies comes from young ladies or ladies in general, women, saying that we've been raped and this is what they done to us. A B C D A B etc. These Zionist Israelis women. They are refusing, I believe, they are refusing to come out and and say other And lie. They refuse to lie. Yeah. They because refuse they were to lie. Despite, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. they, they yeah, I saw not... that. This woman, she was so upset that, you know, once one fighter, you know, uh, uh, pushed her back, you know, when she went to console 
another, you know, hostage, you know, in other words, you know, is that she got up and moved, you know, to another part of the room, you know, like while under supervision, and then she gets told to go back and considers this to be, you know, like a big, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah torture. Yeah, yeah. This is called yeah, torture. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, there were, there were a few uh, Zionist uh, ex-prisoners being interviewed by Israeli journalists. They're Zionists like them. Yeah. And they were saying how how well treated they were yeah. when they were in 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 the hands of Hamas. Yeah. Not even one single one even said she even was inappropriately touched. Not even yeah. touched. Yeah. Okay. And this and they said uh, the uh, the contrary. They said we were protected. We were given food, and we were told many times over and over that in our religion the Muslim religion, that we are supposed to treat uh, uh, prisoners, especially women, with all uh, due respect and, and protection. They said yeah. that, not me. I'm not saying yeah. that as a Palestinian. It's yeah. them that are saying that. Yeah. So that's the same tradition as al din and when he took over yes. Jerusalem. Same exactly. thing, you know? Yeah. Exactly. This, yeah. is the Islamic, this is the Islamic war rules that yeah. you're not supposed to hurt or touch civilians. Only those who fight you or they are, they are soldiers. And that's what happened yeah. when they broke through the concentration camp of Gaza, who fought and killed Israeli soldiers. Yeah. With their 320, 323, I think, you know, were killed. And there was yeah. uh, 200 Hamas fighters killed. So yes. they won. They won the battle, you know. They don't no, want yeah. to admit I, it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. But uh, this thing about you know rape is is very a uh, crucial story. You know, like even the one woman, you know, like hostage who made an interview and said she wasn't raped. You know, she said, "Thank goodness I wasn't raped." Like the other stories, you know, <laughs> as if she believed the other stories. You know, but there weren't any other stories. She, you know, the Israel the police have not filed any accusations. You know, no, no records. You know, like have been filed affidavits of any rapes. You know, it's the military. You know, which is, you know, pr proposing, you know, these stories and, you know, the media, you know, just picks it up, you know, as if it's, you know, like <clears throat> they'll pick up anything from the military, you know, press release. OK, you know, word for word, yeah. there it goes, you yeah, know. Absolutely. But this is very crucial, you know, because there's a part of theology in, in Judaism, you know, the, there's the history of this village that was massacred because uh, the sister of the 12 sons of Jacob was raped. And so they blamed yes. the whole village. They went and raped the whole village, uh, destroyed the whole village. And then yes. afterwards, they come back to their father. And Jacob said, you know, what have you done? You're not supposed <laughs> to do that. You know, like, are you nuts? You know, like, you know. Yeah, and, they but, you know, the Zionists, they, when they, they talk did. about that history, about the rape and the massacre afterwards, they just stop right there. They never talk about Jacob, you know, condemning his own sons. He actually, this is was done to the city of Nablus, actually. Ooh. Yeah. Yes, city of Nablus. At that time, you could be, it has an Aramaic name called Shechem. Yes. So they did that. It's in according to the the Torah. Anyway, yeah, that's yeah. that's uh, yeah. That's they why came. they insist upon this. I have all these Zionists, you know, especially last week. You know, these like four or five, you know, women, you know, coming up to me, you know, talking about you know this mass rape thing, you know, as if it's a justification for genocide. You know, they're all yeah, shouting at me at the same time. They still believe it. They still believe it. It's incredible. Yeah, but I calm them I mean, down after a while. Their mind is so twisted, so corrupt, that uh, they are they're actually becoming uh, a, a human, in, uh, I mean, monsters in a human form. Like, uh, murdering children is okay because uh, they, they were... It. They were uh, perceived. They can grow uh, up to be fighters, Hamas fighters. <laughs> yes, they don't know. Really? I, I mean, they are. They are yeah. they're saying that. Well, what about the refugees oh. who grew up to be Hamas fighters? You know, like they're, they're who made terrorists. them, you know, to be refugees in the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're unreal, unreal, I mean, uh, unreal. Um, I don't know what to say, but it's sad. I believe that Israel has to be stopped somehow, uh, either by force, by pressure. Um, but we are moving. Uh, we, we're in a better uh, state now than we were before October 7th. Israel being exposed to the world everywhere. Everybody knows that she is, or it is, <clears throat> a criminal state, a terror state, uh, yeah. an illegal state. And it has to be called out for that. 
It'll be called out, you know, there has to be a Security Council, you know. Oh, yeah, Algeria is, uh, has written a draft resolution to go to yes. the Security Council already. Yes. Okay, so that's going to come up. And then there's, at the end of 30 days, Israel is supposed to report on how they're being compliant, you know, with the International Court of Justice, you know. Um, what are they uh, called, you know, conditions? Yes, they've they, been... They uh, would. So, they, so you know, far, yeah. so far since, since the decision... The interim decision by the ICJ, over 1,200 to 1,500 been murdered, mm. 3,000 injured, and hundreds of homes being blown up to smithereens. Mm -hmm. So the Zionists, they think they still can't get away with it. And they're, uh, food, and, they're going to pump yeah. uh, salt water into the uh, tunnels to destroy the aquifers, so there'll be no yeah, uh, but, uh, water. It, they admit it is not working. They say, yeah, because uh, they've got uh, they got submarine doors and all the entrances to the yeah, tunnels yes. underground, you know, yeah. waterproof, <laughs> uh, you know, doors, you know. Yeah. But then, I, I, in another case, you know, they use gas. They even use gas. And they, they killed, even the killed a hostage, an Israeli hostage, with gas, like the Nazis. I call them prisoners, not hostages. Yes. I call them Israelis prisoners, and what uh, because they're prisoners of war, and what with what they have in the in in their prison system is all ten thousand Palestinian hostages, especially after October seventh. Um, it's obvious from different reports and uh, from specialists or, or reading through the the testimonies that these uh, tunnels are not connected. They are connected, but they're not good. They don't know how the engineering of these tunnels being made. But obviously, uh, due to this engineering ingenuity, they couldn't uh, connect to the other uh, uh, tunnels, and it failed. But they destroyed part of the environment. Where is the environmentalist about this? Where are yeah. all these environmentalists, including including that uh, Norwegian or Swedish? I don't know. Was a, a Greta, oh, yeah. a Greta something? She was supporting Israel, by the way. She was, yeah. Yeah, but I, I think don't she's know what changed. She... Uh, she's changed her uh, opinion. I saw something, but she's not doing anything. She's not doing enough. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 I mean, uh, just uh, destroying. Actually, some some report. Uh, I can't remember who wrote it, but it's international in uh, uh, UN agency says about twenty percent of uh, the soil of Gaza rendered is uh, is no good to plant anything on it because it's so much saturated, saturated with with chemicals mm. uh, due to the heavy bombardment of of Gaza so you're talking about 20% uh, it's a it's a huge area of of 365 square kilometers yeah. So uh, that's that's a lot so yeah it's always and been a historic cares. fertile area you know the fertile yeah. Nobody you know, strip cares. there, and uh, it's yeah. been you know providing people and its habitations for thousands of years, and now you, it's, know, you one, know one more being thing taken uh, apart. The, the 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 big atrocity they did to uh, architecture that's uh, dated thousands of years. Mm -hmm. There's churches, there's mosques, like about a thousand to twelve hundred years old. They've been yeah. targeted and destroyed. So they want to not destroy the humans. They want to destroy memories. They want to destroy mm -hmm. the the the, the urban architecture of Gaza to mm -hmm. to erase it from the minds of the Gazans, telling the Gazans this is nothing for you. Even memories of the street or the downtown, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, it's been all totally erased. Even universities, they started all the universities. Yeah. There were universities in Gaza. They're all blown up to pieces, yeah. all yeah. under the one guise. Yeah, it's so where's the academic space. outrage? You know, where's the yeah. professors, you know? Nobody. Are... <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of books being yeah. totally burned by uh, incendiary attacks by the Zionist aircraft of, mm. of libraries. Nobody cares. Mm. Nobody yeah. say anything about this. Yeah, and I heard 90 professors were killed as well. Yes, and there's uh, over 132, I guess, doctors. You, you 132 know, uh, doctors, and then the U, UN staff as well. UN staff. And then the reporters have, uh, as well, on yeah. top of that, too. Yeah. Em hmm. Emergency response teams being yes. murdered. You know, they, you name it. Teachers, uh, nurses, children. You're talking about... Uh, 
children, they make about 40%, the children under the age of 14, they make about 42% of the total death and injuries, just children, I'm not yeah. talking about women and yeah. elderies. Yeah. So it's sad. It's sad. Yeah. And the world watching and the Zion is justifying it until now. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, we'll see what can be done, you know, for this week, you know, speak well, to you well, we'll continue. Well, we'll continue the struggle. Yeah. We'll continue the struggle. We, there's no stopping on that. Mm, of course. Yes. Yes. And uh, I will continue to uh, to dig my tunnel underneath the Jewish uh, people and spring well, up every Sunday you. at the Jewish I'll community campus. You. And they can't do anything to stop me, you know. Like, no, no. Come, some of them come up to me and say, "What are you doing here? You can't demonstrate in front of this place. This is a Jewish well, place, yes, you know." I can't I do. Says, yes, I, I have the right. I'm Jewish, you know. <laughs> like, I said, no, 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 you I can't. Have the right. I'm also then they go to the security citizen. guards and they complain to security guards, and security guards have to explain to them that I have a right to demonstrate. <laughs> <laughs> what a bunch of pathetic people! Uh, pathetic. The Zionists, okay. They're not. They're not. They're like a bunch of evangelical Protestants, you know. That's what. That's they, what yeah, well, they they, they model Zionism uh, to the American and Australia conquest. Yeah, they yeah. They're it, sort yeah. Of, you know, like Christian yeah. idiots. You know, exactly. Like, that's what. That's where they are. They're useful yeah. idiots. Useful <laughs> idiots. <laughs> that's where they are. They're useful idiots for the empire. Okay, we'll take care of that. All Good. right. Take care.